<laughs> Hello, and uh, welcome back to the Lang's 60 Day Reboot with the Juice Passing. So, how are you doing today? Great. So the scale <laughs> is not down, folks, still, but um, my sister encouraged me. She As said, in the weight on her scale, that's what she's saying. Yeah, I still weigh the same. But my sister was saying, you know, ladies tend to see inches come off before they see weight. So we had weight or measured ourselves in the beginning and I'm actually down an inch and a half in my waist. Yay! And actually <laughs> it's important to know too because she was really getting really discouraged and so it's important when you don't see that. In fact I talked to the uh, one of the managers at Gold's Gym Express tonight and he was saying too that he encourages a lot of ladies not to necessarily do, go by the scale but to do what she did, measure your waist because that can yeah. really have a big And your pair of pants if they feel looser, you know, because muscle mass weighs more than fat actually does. So as I'm gaining muscle mass, it's it's balancing out. It's harder for ladies. Yeah. It's all right. And your uh, your pants are falling off now, which is good. Yeah. So going to have to do something about that. But go get some more pants. So that's always a good problem to have. So we're excited about that. I'm um, just going to strap them on until the end. And then when I'm down, then I'll invest in pants. Some suspenders? Yep. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah. I, I lost another pound today, so I am, um, we are down together. Woohoo! 14 pounds. You're nice. And um, so, yeah, that's exciting. Um, I'm also feeling like these pants are not going to be fitting very much longer, but I will be excited to show you how much they don't fit at the end of this uh, six week or 60 days. By holding them up, we don't want to see what they look like. Yeah, on. yeah, we'll, we'll be safe there. So, anyway, um, working out for, has been pretty interesting. On Monday, we had a pretty, um, I had my first meeting with my trainer, Corey, and, uh, at, at Gold Gym Express, and he was really um, rigorous in his exercises. Um, he, we did a lot of resistance, and so, um, and he's like he said, he's an ex Marine. So my body was really sore and I thought it was going to go away and usually when I'm eating normally it does go away and so yesterday I didn't really do anything differently in my in the juicing and uh, we were um, I just was feeling a lot more fatigued today I went to the gym I was still fatigued and I was thinking man we need to um, do something about this and then a number of you have asked questions so we're going to actually answer the question with what I'm about to say. Um, and the question was, um, what do you do to supplement your diet when you are doing all this working out? Do you add protein? Do you add um, calcium and those kind of things? And before now we had not because actually our doctor said we shouldn't need that. But then I don't know if he really understood how rigorous this was going to be. So as of today, we have now purchased from Naturally Yours some whey protein. And this is actually, Nature's Plus is actually um, gluten free. So. This has a vanilla, vanilla flavor. I know. So, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. So a, a quick recap too. I, I had some of that beet concoction for the first three or four days, and I feel like actually now as I'm realizing that probably had a pretty big effect. I shouldn't have had that much beets all at once, and so my stomach got a little sensitive. So this is actually helpful to get down some of the harder vegetables at this point. So maybe that's a, a hint or a tip for you who are going to be trying to do the exercise and the juice fast is um, supplemented with some of this. We also have some calcium tablets that we can use if we need them. We haven't done that yet, mm -hmm. but we have that. And then once again, like I said the other night, is we have the, um, the chia seeds mm -hmm. and the flaxseed flax oil. oil. So, and then for guys, if you really want to put the fish oil is good for um, omega-3s for men. So, um, and then the tip of the day, is that what we were saying? Okay, that's the tip and the question. Um, we do want to say, as some people have questioned. Oh yeah, I had I had a good friend stop me today and say, so are you sending juice with Emma every day to school for her meal? And um, just gotten confused that no, our kids are not juicing. They are like we are tasting the juice. So yeah, they actually were asking for juice today at lunch. I was serving um, them lunch. Mommy, please, can I have a smoothie? Mommy, can I please have juice? So. So they are drinking it and they enjoy it, but they are eating normal meals and vegetables and right. And now that we're done with actually day, with week one, um, we're more energetic and we're not detoxing anymore. I think we feel very energetic in the days. Um, now we're beginning to integrate more into the kids' diets with the fruits and vegetables and those kind yeah. of things, and they're loving it. They really do like it. So, uh, in fact, the other day I juiced um, Alex's, our youngest. Uh, son's uh, carrots and he drank it just quickly and he wouldn't eat his carrots but he drank the juice yes. 
So maybe that's a way <laughs> for some of you who have kids who won't eat vegetables, maybe you just need to juice them and then... Uh, or we have a good friend whose daughter has a sensory disorder and just doesn't like texture. And their daughter really liked the juicing. So because then it's smooth and doesn't have to deal with the texture issues. So for them that's a good solution. So, so kudos to all of you who um, have tried it with us or who are trying it at home. And uh, we just encourage you to do that with us if you wanted to join the 60 day fast, I mean you wouldn't do all 60 days, but you still have 53 left, you can join us now. And uh, we'll look forward to giving you some more exciting news um, later. So thanks for joining us.